hello you guys welcome back to my channel my name is china if you are new and if you're not thank you so much for coming back so i have an unboxing it will be a quick unboxing y'all it's so cute it's so different and i have just been very appreciative um so the unboxing is from simbono simbono i don't know how to pronounce it but um i've been working with them and they have been amazing with everything so here's how it looks i cut this open so i could be able to cut out the time <laughs> but um but here's the box so cute and different y'all gonna be so shocked when y'all see it y'all y'all can already tell what it is y'all oh my god look how cute this is look how cute this is and then it has this that i can snap on to oh let me bring it back okay so different and cute right like i love pop of color bags so i was just like this is going to be so cute because i love pop of color bags so you just put this on here let me see how do we put this on here oh so you just put the clamp do the clamp like that and clamp that on here let me clamp the other side oh my goodness I cannot wait to wear this like look at that so cute and different and just I cannot wait to wear this and have this just like so let's see it reminds me of Bottega it's vegan leather so this is how the inside looks. Y'all, you cannot tell me that this is not a bag. And then it has like the strings for you to pull. So the bag I have is the jawstring handbag. It has the jawstring closure, the magnet closure, one inner pocket. It's vibrant, high quality vegan leather, provides the perfect complement to your day, work, or night wardrobe with our exclusive jawstring collection. Stay organized and store daily essentials with a elevated approach. Smooth shape and detachable, scrunchy, handle allow this handbag versatility and ease blend with your busy life as a clutch or a shorter bag shop this item on amazon so you can get it off of amazon as well i will definitely have it linked down below with my code china you will get so with my code you will get 20 percent 26 percent off you guys make sure you guys check them out it is and Bono. Okay, so I wanted to do a life update. Am I happy? I am happy. Um, I feel like I do stuff to make sure that I'm happy. For instance, I make sure that I have a glass of wine um, when I'm feeling down or uh, just when I just want to be like in the mood. I feel like I created, um, I created that for myself. Like sometimes you have to find what makes you happy that way when you're going through a lot of stuff because i go through stuff we all go through stuff and i just light a candle and play some soft music to get my thoughts together and maybe have a glass of wine and that will help me out so it's ways um it don't have to be what i'm doing but it's ways that you can actually like make yourself feel better or if someone drove you crazy for today it's been a long week clean your space I clean my space. I buy myself flowers. Matter of fact, I need to put my flowers back here. <laughs> yeah, so I just make sure that I like clean my space and get like my space together and just light candles, 
flowers i had to put my flowers back there i do all of that just to make sure that because to be honest like living day to day is very hard it's extremely hard for everyone and we have to figure out a way if it's counseling we have to figure out a way that we can make it better um to where stuff just won't bother us all the time um not saying that it, i just was like you know what i don't care i'm just going to get up wash my sheets make my bed get in the shower put some makeup on and maybe sit down and do a video because i'm like we can't dwell on stuff because when we dwell on stuff it makes it worse so what can we do especially if we can't change it sometimes even take it a nap will definitely get your mind off of you and be like whatever i'm gonna just take a nap so there i'm so happy about this quality y'all all i had to do was change my sim card i changed my sim card and now look at us okay i could not get it together what was it yesterday when i did the video i could not get it together and now here we are like y'all i'm trying okay i am trying i'm in pjs and everything but i was just like it's pointless for me to get dressed because let me tell you something i have to get up and feed these kids when they wake up from their nap so i was like i need to get some type of work done i can do it in my cute pjs and we in there the next thing is um am i grateful and these are just i looked on google and was like good questions to answer for a life update you guys didn't ask me this but i just didn't know what kind of video to do and i told y'all i want to incorporate more videos through the week like not just a saturday weekly vlog i want to do more than the, just that so anyway um am i grateful y'all already know that i'm always talking about how grateful that i am i am a very grateful person i was literally sitting here y'all okay so when i lived in my apartment towards Cat camp creek area i lived in my apartments y'all i used to go to these houses like often so many times y'all like i'll just like twice a week i'll just go right past the house because it was headed it was a really nice neighborhood and it was going towards the way that i had to go to get home from work so when i used to go over there i used to sit there and i used to write in my journal and i used to always be like this is a neighborhood that i would want to live in this is it's beautiful homes and it's just like this is what i want lord and i used to pray for it so then today i was just realizing like i forgot all about that i used to do that and i was realizing i was like oh my god like for the past couple of homes I have lived in, it has been the type of homes that I always wanted, that I used to drive past and say that I wanted these homes. They were brand new, but in the homes that I've been living in haven't been brand new, but they're still as nice as those homes were. Like, I'm telling you i even went inside of those homes because they had it to where you can go inside and i was thinking today and i was like i used to ride past those type of homes that i live in now and say that i cannot wait till i live in a home like this and i live in it now granted i do rent but at the same time we got to start somewhere and it is what it is okay this market is crazy right now i've tried to buy but at the end of the day regardless me and my kids are happy we are safe we are happy and i just I'm very grateful for that. That's what made me bring that up because I was thinking about it today. Like, oh my God, I used to live, I used to, I live in and have been living in for the past couple of times, couple of houses, the houses that I used to ride past. And I used to always just be like, I just want to live in that type of home. And here I am, me and my children. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful for my family just everything like everyone that's in my life everyone that's coming in my life like i'm just very grateful for where i'm at and i feel like sometimes we have to sit back and we have to think about that like oh my god i pray for this and i'm living where i pray for it and that's why it's very like you have to pray you have to know what you want because how can you ask god to give it to you if you don't know what you want so we have to be grateful for where we are at now. And then once we get more, we'll realize, dang, I pray for this. There you go. So I found these. Um, when was the last time you tried something new? Um, the last time that I tried something new, 
I don't know because to be honest, I'm more so like a person that I stick with what I know. Uh, like if I go out to eat, I'm going to order the same thing. Um, I'm really like a loner type of person. So I don't know. I don't know when to say when last time I tried something new. Um, I know that on my birthday trip, this will be new for me because usually I don't go solo places, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it, but um, I usually don't go solo, but I booked this a couple weeks ago and I cannot wait. So I'm looking forward to it. So that'll probably be like one of the first things that I've done trying something new. As a matter of fact, no, it's not. Uh, being single is trying something new for me. <laughs> Because I told y'all I've always been in relationships. So being single is actually something new for me. And to be honest, I am loving it so much. I love the fact that I have like my own space and not having to answer to anyone and just all of that. So that's actually like trying something new. Who do you sometimes compare yourself to? Um, I would say nobody, to be honest. Um, I'm Okay, so I had to learn, I had to tell myself that I wanted my stuff to be so aesthetically pleasing and all that. And I had to tell myself, girl, you're just old school. Like, I'm very old school. I listen to old school music. I'm just an old school type of gal. <laughs> so, I'm not like, I had to tell myself, like, don't beat yourself up. Like, I want to be able to take those cute pictures and make them look so cute. And then it's like, when I take a picture, it'd be like, ugh, no. And it'd be like, why can't I do that? It's frustrating. Like, I used to tell myself that it was nobody in particular. But it'll just be, you know, we scrolling on Instagram and all we see is aesthetic. Everything is aesthetic. And then it's like, here I am with a regular picture my kids took for me because I don't have nobody taking pictures. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't, like, it don't look like that for me. And I had to tell myself, like, at the end of the day, this is me and if my life is, I don't have enough time in a day to worry about aesthetically pleasing stuff I have four kids I'm trying to rush do this video before Junior wake up because he's right here I can't my videos is probably not going to be aesthetic and my TikTok and all of that is just not like I'm just very old school and um I feel like a lot of you can relate like I'm my vibe everything about me is more so old school old school does something to me the old school music does something to me the new school don't uh i wear classic clothes versus trendy so you get what i'm saying so i had to tell myself it's okay to be more of just yourself and showing yourself like that versus trying to make sure everything is cute like i threw that back there that probably look a mess <laughs> that probably look a mess to somebody but to me those right there are my favorite things. That's what makes me happy. Candles, flowers, and perfume. That's what makes me happy. <laughs> I, I'm so hilarious, y'all, sometimes. But that's what makes me happy. And somebody's probably watching this video like, oh my God, her background look a mess. <laughs> but that's just me. Like, I can't... Y'all see, I'm struggling getting this room together, okay? I'm struggling. <laughs> And I'm like, that's when I told myself, like, girl, get what you like. Get what you love. Do not worry about, like, these chairs, they're pink. I love pink. <laughs> the paintings. Okay. If you look at it, it kind of matches with the chair. Okay. It matches with the rug. So get what you love. Your style might not be what everybody else's is. But do what you want to do. I don't even know if I answered the question. Did I? What was the question? Yeah, so it was comparing yourself. So, yeah, I, I don't, to be honest. Like, at first, I was just like, why can't my pictures look as good as theirs? Their page looks so aesthetically pleasing. Their page just looks so put together. And then here you go. Here go me with a red dress on. And then here go me with a, a blue dress on. They ain't gonna do nothing. So, what gets you excited about life? Hmm. I feel like I already explained this. Um, candles. Flowers money <laughs> perfume like my kids my alone time like that's what gets me excited about life i can i can definitely say that um even like getting in my car like y'all just the fact that 
looking at where I came from and I'm still going and the fact that like just getting in my car like that makes me feel good when I get in my car and I'm done up I just feel so good I, I'm ready I'm ready to listen to my music it's just the greatest feeling ever and like of course of course I love my Mazda y'all already know that like I love my Mazda I thought it was the cutest little car but then it's like my BMW was on my vision board that was for my dream and I went ahead and got it so it makes me feel good of course you know, I'm paying more for it but I feel like as you go up in life and won't like more of course you're going to start paying more for stuff so it's like getting in that car just makes me feel good and um it's not about being materialistic or anything it's just the fact that like it's a really nice luxury car I've, I've never had a luxury car before um and i got it everything that i ever had always came from me so what life lessons did you learn the hard way who hmm what life lesson did you learn the hard way? I would say, oh my God, there's so many. Um, I would say, to be honest, like I know y'all probably be tired of hearing me say stuff about kids stuff, but I would say having kids by a person, um, make sure you be careful who you have kids by. Um, that's one thing. And um, another life lesson that I've actually learned was the hard way was loaning out money. Um, I feel like loaning out money or investing in the wrong thing can mess you up at the end of the day. And um, I actually invested uh, with another individual and it has not turned out to be what it was supposed to be. And it's been years and it's kind of like frustrating. Um, but I don't like to really talk about that's another thing I don't like to talk about. But loaning out money, I just feel like invest in yourself. Do not be, don't give someone else your money to invest in their goals and their dreams and you not investing in your own. If you come up on some money or if you have some money, make sure that you take care of you first. Take care of yourself. Figure out what you're doing next or what you want to invest in for yourself and that's what made me honestly like me getting my machines is the first time that i actually like invested in myself because i was always on the investing side but it was for other people it wasn't for me it wasn't for like me investing in something for myself so i love my machines so much because of i invested in them and um they're for my they're for me so my name is on them so if i want to sell them i can sell them and every time I go pick up money, I don't care how much it is. I'd be so ecstatic and grateful when I go pick it up because of it's mine at the end of the day. Um, if they were to call me and say, hey, we need you to get the machines up out of here. Guess what? I can take them somewhere else where I can put them in my garage. They're mine. They can't just fire me and be like, oh, we're, we fired you. No. But y'all know. Anyway, that's that. <laughs> what do you wish you spent more time doing five years ago? Um... I would say, uh, I would say um, myself, I would say being by myself um, because I feel like, you know, when you're with an individual, you're wasting so much time. Not necessarily that you're wasting time, but you're like, you need to find yourself. And I feel like in order for you to get your full potential, I honestly feel like it's better when you are single um, to get to your full potential that way because five years ago you probably don't want the same thing that you wanted five years now um so for me i just wish that i would have been five years ago uh spent more time with myself living by myself figuring myself out finding myself out um so i could be able to be a better me for myself my children um and yeah do you think crying is a sign of weakness or strength um, I feel like crying is a sign of strength because sometimes we have to cry. Um, sometimes it's like it, it, stuff can get so stressful to where you can't, it's unbearable for you to be able to handle. And I feel like sometimes we have to cry. Like I cry often. Nobody ever sees me cry, but I cry often. So I'll answer a couple of more um, because I don't want to make this video like too long. Y'all know that I have a problem with talking too much <laughs> so um as i was saying um 
I don't feel like a crying is a sign of weakness, of course. Who who feels like a sign is crying? Who feels that way? But um, I feel like it's, it's a part of strength because I feel like when you cry, you're letting it out. That's better than just holding it in. And I feel like I had a problem with hope and stuff in so much. And now it's like I'll cry about something and then I'll go about my day. It's like crying will make it better. Um, but I do also feel like, you know, if you are like stressing a lot, I just feel like, oh my God, I can't say this enough. I feel like the gym has helped me tremendously. So I don't know if you, you know, you're a person that deals with a lot of stress, get you a gym membership or it don't even have to be a gym membership. You can just go walk in um, or just walk in or working out in your own house whatever like i just feel like that will help out tremendously um another thing is do you celebrate the things that you do have um and i feel like i already answered that so what is the difference between living and existing so i feel like the difference is if you're just living and you're just you don't care you're just going to work and um that's really it uh i mean existing sorry I feel like existing is if you're just going to work and that's really it. Um, you're not having like no time to yourself. You're just, you don't care about life. You don't care to experience like traveling and um, you don't get to experience like. It kind of all depends on what part, who you are. But if you're just ex existing, you're, you just don't care. You're just going to work. That's it. You're going to work to be able to just pay your bills. Um and that's all you do you do that you come home you don't care you just don't care about nobody you just don't care um not traveling not spending time with family not just then that's what i mean by that now living i feel like if you are living the life that you want to live you are living to your full potential you you um travel you you know see different see the world differently i feel like once you start traveling you will definitely see the world differently um you are doing what makes you happy um you are helping and you know that's what i feel like living um existence is just you're here you don't care whatever if you die you die you don't care this one is good they actually have really good questions if not now then when i really like that they ask that because that's the very true i hear so many people that says that they want to do this but they can't for instance i know none of y'all really have a youtube channel but i'm saying i'm gonna use this as an example because that's what i do just the fact that you're saying you want to make a YouTube channel, but you want to wait until you have a camera or you want to wait until you have uh, lights or you want to wait until you have a better place. All of that. And I just feel like, no, because y'all see, I started, I was using my iPhone to record and I was using iMovie. I still use iMovie. And sometimes like a lot of us vloggers, like when we don't feel like taking this big camera we record on our phone sometimes and then iphone quality is really good and i just feel like you got to understand that while you are sitting here waiting it might take you five years before you start getting anything paid sponsorships anything so i just feel like start now because if you start today then there's your chance okay you started and you're going to see it's not as hard as you thought it was that you can literally record on whatever device that you have so i just feel like you know when people say oh i want to start a youtube channel but i'm scared okay then what you're scared but okay every last one of us has been scared to start and it's like people think that okay you have a youtube channel you're going to start getting paid instantly no we don't work like that it don't work like that at all so you have to actually have the passion for this and i had to learn this the hard way you have to actually have the passion for this you actually have to work for free for a very long time and if you stop it's like you, your money stop so it's kind of like and 
To be honest, I'm not making no money like that on YouTube. Let's just be honest. Let's just put that out there. I'm not making nearly nothing. <laughs> so it's like it's a passion. Y'all not even understanding how many times like it's like you have to start somewhere. You need to start now because you're not understanding that you feel like maybe a person will overnight success. It don't work like that. Okay. Okay. So this will be the last one that I answer. Um, and it says thought provoking questions. Which activities make you lose track of time? Um, I'll say um, when I go hang out and I have like a, a strong drink. A couple of them and it's like the next day it's so hard for me to get up it's hard for me to move I don't care it's like I don't get no work done I don't write in my notebook I don't care I just be like oh well I don't care if something is due today I'm not doing it like and I don't like that about me and I do beat myself up about that as well because I'm like okay I, I, I want to have a good time but at the same time it's like I have so much stuff that I have to do that is like, okay, yeah, it's fun for me for at that moment in time, but then it's like, girl, you got so much stuff that you have to do. Why would you go out and have you a good time? And I know that I shouldn't be like that, and that's another part of me beating myself up, but I do because it takes me a day to two days to recoup and regather myself together, all from one night's nice drinking. That's why I like to stick to wine because wine don't have me like that. If I drink Tito's tonic and lime juice, I am, and I have about four or three of them, the next day I just want to lay around. And I just don't like that. So I told myself, I was like, I, need, I have to figure something out because I like wine. I used to love wine, but now I'm just more so just liking it. And I rather gym more drink less basically the gym will get you on a high you won't feel so exhausted you going up the steps you won't feel so tired you'll have more energy you'll be like you're you'll be healthy you'll it'll motivate you to want to eat more healthy and it's like when i'm not in the gym it's like i don't care i, re I'm re I wanted to order a pizza today <laughs> for my kids i'm like i don't feel like cooking today because i got so much work to do so i just want to order a pizza and then it's like okay do you really want to order this pizza? It's like if I was going to the gym like I like I was going before, then I wouldn't be thinking about ordering no pizzas. So it's kind of like that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, it's going to be more of these type of videos. Just sit down, relax, and girls talk. Maybe wine night. Maybe us even sitting here eating a charcuterie board, making it, eating it, and just having like a good time because this actually makes me really happy um and then the fact that my quality and all of that is just everything is just getting better and that's where what i was saying like starting out like you baby this camera was more than what i make on youtube <laughs> my other camera was cost more than what i make on youtube so it's kind of like i'm really from my other businesses taking care of everything for my youtube channel so it's kind of like you have to start somewhere and I have to start somewhere and y'all seeing like these videos that I'm doing that people companies are sending me stuff like I'm very grateful for y'all because it's like what me you want to send me something and this is something that I actually take pride in and actually use like like this purse I cannot wait to wear this purse and it's like I'm going to wear it with pride because it's like really me you want to send me a purse you want to send me something so i just can't wait to wear this purse make sure you guys check them out everything will be linked down below y'all know that we love to save some coins so make sure you guys use that link and i cannot wait to wear this and thank you guys so much for watching my video i love you guys of course as always okay